Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm just going to be discussing what I plan on doing with my channel for now on, because as you probably know, I haven't been uploading for a very long time. Um, but I'm going to try to start uploading again. But my content will be very different, and I plan on sort of taking this channel in a slightly different direction. And as I'm talking, there will be a video of me pinning a cicada in the background. So... If I finish this voiceover before I finish pinning the cicada, then I will talk about just the cicada after that. So, where do I plan on taking this channel? What kind of content do I plan on making? So, I want to appeal to people that really don't know mu don't know that much about entomology and insects and things like that. But I also want to appeal to hobbyists because there is a serious lack of insect and bug videos on YouTube. And the way I see it, if you want to see something, then you might as well make it yourself instead of waiting for it to happen. So, um, videos that I want to appeal to hobbyists, I guess, would be videos showing my collection, care videos, um, like, bug hunting videos, tutorials on how to find certain types of things or how to look for things in certain habitats like rotting logs or under stones and stuff like that. And then the videos that I want to help teach people might be like top 10 videos um, or just other things like that, like maybe little mini documentary type things because I really, I want to get kids more interested in this and most of the entomology videos on YouTube that you'll see are from universities and other places like that. And they're, I'm going to be honest, they're very boring. They're very monotone sounding. And they make me boring, and I love that stuff. So I don't know how a kid would manage to sit through that. And it really seems like it would kind of teach them that entomology is boring, and they would lose interest in it. So that's why um, another YouTube another YouTuber named Insect Hunter. I really recommend you check him out. He has one series where he does different characters and things. I'll leave a link to it in the description just kind of to appeal to kids and get them entertained while they can learn about entomology too. And that's really inspired me. I'm going to be doing stuff like that along with stuff like Jaden Herrera who is another bug YouTuber which I'll also link in the description. So you can expect new videos soon. I'll try to upload frequently, and that'll be it for that part of the video. And now I just want to talk about the cicada. So I found the cicada as a nymph yesterday as of recording this. Um, it was on one of those solar lights that people put in their yards trying to molt. I caught it, and then I took it home, and I hung up a blanket, and it crawled onto the blanket and malted, and I let it harden overnight, and then I put it in the freezer this morning, and, I'm pin and I was pinning it. So if you'll notice there, I actually, I had to use paper to hold down the larger set of wings, but the back pair of wings, I actually, they kind of just stay there by themselves, and you might be kind of confused by that, but the way that works is that there are hooks on the wings that connect both of them together, which is really convenient for pinning because you actually don't need to hold down the bottom pair. All you have to do is hook it onto the bottom, which is what I'm trying to do here. The um, first bottom wing that I did was considerably easier. So thank you for watching. I will see you in future videos soon. Goodbye.